Digital Heroes! What's going on, everybody? What's happening? It's your boy, Worst Epic Gamer, and I'm back playing some Idle Heroes today, guys. It's been a while since my last video on Idle Heroes, and a lot of has happened, guys. A lot. So, this is going to be a crazy special episode, because uh, potentially, I could potentially 10-star two heroes today. For sure, one. Let's take a look at what's going on with my team right now, and you will notice, it's magnificent, it's wonderful. Whoa! Worst Epic Gamer, how have you progressed so fastly and so nicely? I'm just good. I'm just damn good. <laughs> Psych. But let's take a look, guys. Look at all these massively good heroes on my team right now. So, as you notice, my number one hero, Vesa, potentially, I could 10-star her. That's who I want to star. Uh, I already have one extra copy. I need one more. I got a 6-star, and I got two 9-star heroes that I can sacrifice. Potentially, I can get her 10 stars. The one I can definitely get right here is, as you can see, Demon Hunter. I can get her literally right now. All I have to do is click the buttons, and she's 10 star. But, like I said, I'm holding off on that just because I really want to do Vesa. Uh, my, my next option is Ice Blink. I've got two op, you know what I'm saying, two Ice Blinks. I need to craft one more uh, Fortress here. And, like I said, I only have two... Nine star heroes that I can sacrifice. I'm go. I'm willing to sacrifice uh, um, Karma there. It doesn't matter. But I can sacrifice two of them right now, so I can potentially create two ten star heroes today. Now let's see what else I've been doing. Uh, Faith Blade. Seven stars. I'm gonna need some fodder, but I have an extra Faith Blade there, as you can see. I'm holding them off, and uh, I did my summoning this week, guys. I got. Three Michelle drops this week summoning. I swear to God, no luck. I mean, no lie. Three Michelle drops. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at what's going on in the events. These events are incredible, man. Crazy events going on, guys. So they have this monster killer here, which you keep doing. You know, I'm saying you guys already know what to do with that. Kill him to get some prizes. Uh, check it out. I've exchanged everything except for the Karma one uh, and this one right here because I'm missing one more material. One more of those guys and I can sacrifice there. And Karma as well. I don't really have any of those, whatever they need. That everything else I already exchanged. This one is a, just a purchase. All right, so check it out where I'm at with this one. <laughs> I've got everything else except the last, what is it, three here. So I'm at 98. I need two more hearts. And I can open up this artifact, which is great. That's a sick energy artifact, guys. And then potentially another Faith Blade next. And then once I unlock that, you can go to the next one, which is a really, really sick accessory. These are nice for assassins, guys. A really good accessory. I'm pretty sure I got 220 hours left. I will be able to complete all these. So that sounds pretty good to me. And then this one here, I've got everything else except for... Where am I here? The last two here. So I'm at 35. Uh, I need a total of 400 now to get both of those. I think I can do it in 220 hours. So I'll be done with those. So we had the summoning event. Check it out. Everything is complete. So yeah, I did 504 summons, I think, and I got the new hero, which we'll talk about in just a second as well, so huh, big news on that as well. I'm not going to go 650, that's way too much, I'm not doing that, that's way too much. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's break down the new hero here, because uh, she seems very cool, guys, a very sick hero here, the Heart Watcher. Sick abilities, as I said before, uh, let me see, I could... Hmm... I could take her to 8 stars, but I'm not going to do it just yet because I need some of these sacrifices here. I need these sacrifices. So that's why I'm not really working on her to 8 stars. Because I want to get at least Demon Hunter and Vesa to 10 stars first and then I'll work on her. So she's definitely a part of my team though. So let's go back. Let's take a look at these abilities guys. They seem pretty cool. So deals 190% of attack damage against two random enemies. Reduces their attack by 20%. For two rounds, and then tags them with a watcher mark. It cannot be dodged. First of all, that's great. And the watcher mark will increase targets taken damage by 25%. Uh, the watcher marks affect overlay. Hmm, that's pretty dope because you can stack them. Watcher mark damage overlay cap at 300. So it can stack all the way up to 300 damage taken. So first thing when I first saw this, guys, immediately what you think is, wait a minute, this is a great boss hero. Meaning, uh, she seems like she would be a great hero to use, to have on your team, versus Mar Marauder, all boss 
you know, all bosses because she's going to hit him with this Watcher Mark, which is going to reduce, uh, you know, the damage taken by 25% and is going to stack on. So eventually you'll be at 100, 200% re uh, reduction in damage, which is a lot, guys, meaning your team is going to be doing a lot more damage to them. So even though theoretically she's not the one that's doing all the damage, somebody else is probably doing a lot more damage than her, she's the one that's uh, applying the mark thus causing more damage for the you know your whole team so that's a really good ability there this is a passive skill attack uh let me see increase attack by 30 crit by 30 and hp by 20 percent those are all nice life regain okay critical strike has a hundred percent chance to heal self for 200 percent of your attack that's incredible guys so what you want to do with her is stack her with crit you know uh have her crit as high as possible Every time she crits, she's she's going to heal herself 200% of her attack, which is incredible. That's really good. And then the last one here is basic attack targets. Two random enemies deals 90% um, of attack damage and tags them with a watcher mark. Watcher mark effect, effects cannot be overlaid. Wait. Cannot be overlaid. Cannot be dodged. The watcher mark will increase targets taking damage by 20%. So, theoretically, this one is exactly the same as her ultimate here. So... You know, same thing with the mark, watcher mark, guys. She's going to mark the opponent, and then they're going to be taking more damage. So that's her ability right there. Like I said before, at first, it seems like it's really good against bosses, but also you can use it for, um, you know, arena battles because uh, she's going to reduce attack by 20% for 20 for two rounds, which is good. Theoretically, in your arena teams, you would want a hero that's stunning, uh, you know, a lot more crowd control, which she doesn't really do, but, you know what I'm saying, reduced... Uh, damage to your opponent reducing their attack is also really good so yeah all in all a really good dps hero and assassin so i'm liking her style i'm liking the way she's going so that's where we are with that what else has been going on uh let's take a look amivore six stars and also let's take a look down here i also have another two copies of amivore there there's my copy of vessa i got two more two uh, demon hunters as you guys already see kareem i've got two who else? Uh, my two ice blinks at the bottom there. So a lot of different, different heroes that I can work with, guys. A lot of different heroes. There's my other Faith Blade. Like I said, I have three Michelles now. So Michelle is looking great. But now my question is, what team am I going to run? That's always the question. I always, you know, my team has been kind of steady for a while. Let me try to move up here. I can move up in the arena pretty much any time, except when I'm facing 10-star heroes. So, before we do that, you know what? I kind of am really thinking about it, guys. You know what? Let's go ahead. I'm going to go first 10-star hero, Demon Hunter. What do you guys think about that? Let's do it, guys. I already have her. I'm going to go ahead and do her anyways. You know what I'm saying? So, why wait? Let's go. Let's go, guys. Drop a like for my first... 10 star hero right now let's do this guys i'm crazy excited about this Woo 10 freaking stars yeah that's awesome wow so there we go you cannot enhance her anymore she's at the max level i don't have her skin just yet which sucks because i got a lot of the other skins but that's okay this is what the armor is so let's go ahead let me see if i've got enough I probably don't. Oh my god, I don't. It's going to take so much of these uh, slimy balls here to, to get her to 250. It's going to take forever. But either way, guys, that's incredible. 10 stars, my first 10 star hero. That's amazing. I'm super excited about that. Now, my next one that I really would want, uh, I got to work on that a little bit. I have that, is I just need one more Vesa, guys. One more Vesa, and I can 10 star Vesa. Uh, let's go Ice Blink. I could do Ice Blink if I can get one 6 star fortress which is not that hard to do i can definitely do that i'm pretty sure so that could be potentially my second 10 star um okay now that we got our 10 star let's go ahead guys i'm gonna go back to the battle arena here let's go ahead try to take on some people some peeps in the arena no this is gonna be easy but let's go so yeah so this is the battle that i got right now yeah so i switched it up before if you remember i used to run Faith Blade, and I was running my boy Ass Model, one of my favorite heroes, Ass Model. But then I switched it to Michelle. I was doing Michelle for her heal, you know, and her stun. So it's still tough, man. Damn! So many good heroes that you have to choose from. <laughs> so now I'm kind of screwed. I went back to this here. Why? Let me see the bonuses. 
Nine, you get less bonuses with that, because I used to run, which one did I used to run here? No. I think I was running something, I don't know, Redemption right here. Light, Fortress, and Forest, yeah, 11%. So this was a little better bonuses, but it's not that big of a difference. I only did this one because of the new hero. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead. Let's see what Demon Hunter can do, because that's what we're all about. My first 10-star hero. Pew, pew, pew! And you guys can also check out the new hero. Let's see what she can do. Yep, she's as soon as she hit, guys, you can see that she's applying that Watcher's Mark on them. Reducing their damage right away by 20%, which is nice. And then, um, also, the damage they take is multiplied and it stacks on. So, if we take a look here at, let's see, damage output. God damn! <laughs> wow, Demon Hunter. 10 star is amazing. Holy moly! That's really cool, guys. So, I mean, if I just keep doing some of these battles here, uh, it would be easy. I can easily climb up to the top of the rankings because... It's not that difficult right now. I mean, my team is looking stackable. My team is looking amazing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep working on these 10-star heroes, guys. I'm very close to getting there. And then keep, uh, you know, doing my thing. Um, so what's next on the goal? I Like I said before, next up is Vesa and Ice Blink. Those are my two next up heroes that I want to do. Huh. Uh, one thing that I'm really pissed about is the Super Casino. I have Vesa in the Super Casino, and I had, I'm not lying to you guys, 76 Super Casino coins. 76. And I did not pull her one time. <laughs> if you can look here, my name is somewhere over there. I pulled a red, well, you see it right there. I pulled this, the red artifact, which is crappy as hell, and I did not get one Vesa. That's all I needed to 10 star her, and I didn't get it, which kind of sucks. Um, I could... 6 star another Ice Blink, but that would be stupid because I need them both to 10 star that one. So that's why I'm not doing that. And uh, that's kind of why I didn't do Ice Blink 10 star first. Because I don't have a sacrifice, you know, 6 star one. Hmm. Now, here's my other dilemma, guys. I have a choice between Amavar and Dark Arthendol. Two really, they're both really good hero. Or Dark Arthendol is mostly uh, for the arena crowd control. Amavar just dishes out a ton of damage too. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm just debating on who I'm gonna go with first. I already have one 10 star. Let me just go back. I already have one six star dar, uh, ammo bar though. So it's kind of stupid to do him again. And then those are yeah. That's I don't even know why I'm thinking about that. I really don't want to do that. Maybe uh, what I should do is six star dark earth and doll. And then I'm gonna have to. Mm, still no. That's why it's so hard to do dark and light heroes, guys, because they're so rare, and then you have to sacrifice so much to be able to 10-star one of these guys. You need at least, let me think about it. So I'm going to need another 6-star dark hero, and then another 6-star dark hero, plus another 9-star any hero. So it's going to take some time before I can 10-star this guy or Faith Blade. That's kind of why I went away from my team that I was building with my... You know, my light, my two light heroes. And I moved a little bit more just Fortress and Forest. It's easier. It's easier to get 10 star of those heroes. That's why I did it that way. But I think eventually I'm going to have enough to get a 10 star light hero and a 10 star dark hero. And maybe I'll run a rainbow aura. Maybe that's the, you know, that's the next step of the progression. But we're not sure right now, guys. But anyways, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I kind of just wanted to update you guys on what's going on with the team. Show you my first 10 star hero. I'm really excited about Demon Hunter. I could have went either way if I was a little more patient. But I'm not impatient, guys. I'm totally impatient. I couldn't wait any longer. So I just wanted to go ahead and do that. Now it's time to grind some more. I got to collect some more slimy McDimies. And then upgrade um, Demon Hunter some more. And then work on the next, guys. All right. So for now, I'm going to end it off here, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next Idol Heroes video. Until then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.